Hi, how are you? My name is Lucy and I'm from Date Your Finances. Yes, <laughs> dating your finances is so important. Why? <laughs> because you need to be in charge of your finances to be in to bring bring some love to your finances. So today I want to talk about a specific um, topic, which is budgeting. What is a budget? Hmm. Don't look at me like this. I know. <laughs> you may think a budget is a constraint, is a, a pain, is something will make you actually feel uh, sad and not really living your life. But it's actually the opposite. When you are doing a budget, is to be aware about your situation, being aware about what are your expenses, what are your income and how much you can invest or spend on something you would love. It's not about um, stopping to live, it's not about stopping going shopping, it's to actually be aware and be okay by spending this money on something you want. Either it's uh, doing a weekend away with your girlfriend, with your friend, with your lover, uh, maybe it's going on a holidays, maybe it's also starting to, I don't know, a project, uh, building a house, launching a new business, whatever you want to do, you need to have an idea of a budget because it will help you to start to bring this dream into reality, to bring this dream into life, alive, to make things alive. So it's really important, uh, this step of budgeting, it's to make sure things happen and not the opposite. It's, it's to be fully aware, it's to be alive and and really re realizing your dream. So to do so, I I have like four steps, which I call RSVP, which can stand for a lot of things, especially in French. <laughs> in French, uh, but uh, the R stands for review. You need to review what is your current expenses. You need to be aware what how you spend your money you need to be aware as well how much you are making and when you are conscious about this it helps to see on the paper what is your situation to be fully aware with yourself it's not to judge yourself it's not to say oh i'm spending too much there or there it's just to be conscious and transparent with yourself uh, to know how much you spend on groceries, how much you spend on dining out, how much you spend on shopping, how much you spend for hobbies and all the, um, the post. The second uh, step is S, separate. You need to identify what is essential and what is a plus, a plus. So essential are for me what you need. You need a house, you need electricity, you need food on the table, you need some clothes. <laughs> we can live naked, <laughs> but um, in most countries <laughs> and most people prefer to wear clothes. So there are all those essential needs you need to cover. So you have a certain amount of your expenses per month which are a need and essential. The second uh, type of uh, expenses will be what you want. You know, this little plus. You can want to order food instead of cooking. You can go to a restaurant. You can have a coffee outside instead of at home. You can um, use a taxi to come back from a, a dinner instead of working or using your car. Um, you can use, you can go for manicure. You can, you know, have some extra uh, subscription. Uh, all those plus, which make life 
better, more comfortable. And again, it's not to judge your expenses. It's just to be aware how you spend your money and on what you can actually decide to have a change. And then, once you have done this step, the third step is the V. Visualize. You need to see what is your dream, what is your goal for this year, and how do you see it. Um, having clarity on where you want to go will help you to go there. If you have no clue, it will be much harder. If you can't put a destination in your GPS, it will be very hard to move forward. So take the time to really reflect on what is important for you to realize this year. What do you want to do? What, what is the one or two things you want to put your focus on this year? Maybe something like just oh actually i'm just enjoying a proper holiday going away with my lover having uh starting a, a new um new training learn something new you may want to invest some uh, uh, money in your decoration at home you may whatever you want it's it's what you want so really take a time to visualize what you want, what you want to have, and what are your main priorities. I would say I would recommend just to focus in three things because after you have too much and then nothing happens. So write down the three uh, priorities for 2022. And the final step is plan. Plan your goal, breaking it up into small steps into action plan so for example if you want to pass your driving license you first need to take some course for the uh, driving license and then maybe you need also to buy a car what what the plan you know so you need to budget something for the driving license and to pass the test and to buy a car and then maybe you also plan okay how much a car will cost me every month in petrol in insurance all those kind of things so it's really important once you have a goal to break down the goal into action so you can start to see okay to actually go there i need to do that that and that and all those steps will cost me this amount of money more or less you make a budget and then put a timeline so if your goal is to have this done by the end of the year you can say, okay, in the first three months, this quarter, I'm doing this. Next quarter, I'm doing this, and this, and this. So you also plan the expenses in advance for your goal. So you make sure you will have enough this year for um, to invest in your goal. So the first step, review your expenses. No, be aware, be conscious how you spend money. Second, separate. Make the differentiation between what you need and what you want. Third, visualize. Visualize your goal, visualize your dream. And fourth, plan. Plan your goal into action. And then you can budget for it and put a timeline. And this is actually how I make a simple budget for my year, for my goal. Because if not, nothing is happening. And this year, I'm really happy I will be investing time, energy and money on my business. And it's what I want. <laughs> and especially on my website. So a website is coming. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's so important to have this clarity. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any question, don't hesitate. You can contact me with the link below my email address and ask all your questions. We'll be really happy to support you on this process. It's really a simple roadmap for you to make things happening with clarity and a budget. Achieve your goals this year. That would be amazing. Bye.